Baby Star was at a marketplace when our founder happened upon her. She was alone and hungry, eating something she shouldn't have been eating, trying to survive on her own. Our founder immediately scooped her up and took her straight to the clinic where she was assessed and once cleared of any viruses, immediately received her first vaccination. Star's back legs weren't forming properly due to the lack of nutritional food and milk from her mom. What's wrong with your little leg? What's wrong with your little leg, cutie pie? What you doing? Come on. Come on. Hey. The scabies are still there. So she's pretty much still in isolation, even though she wants to join her little puppy friends, Summer and River. Star was an absolute sweetheart, and once her quarantine time was complete, she joined our previous two older puppies to learn and grow with them. Unfortunately in Bali, female puppies and adult dogs are always abandoned for the obvious reason that they give birth to puppies. Although Bali is riddled with many organizations offering free sterilization programs in all areas, the cultural mentality on this issue hasn't really changed much and is an ongoing battle. Star's favorite thing to do was to play with her puppy friends and look cute. There just wasn't a moment where she didn't look cute or wasn't happy, and she got over her traumas relatively fast. Over time, while Star was waiting to complete all vaccinations, she was lucky enough to go into foster care with her two other puppy friends. There she really grew into an older puppy and was prepping to adopted life. At that point, we didn't know whether she'd be lucky enough to be adopted, but as a responsible animal welfare foundation, ensuring our dogs all get to live their best lives, we ensure all our dogs are prepared for adoption. Star stayed in foster for about two to three months, and then her fosters left Bali, so Star and her friends came back to us. Before this happened though, we officially opened our third safe house. This was for puppies, and the three girls were so happy helping set up their new house. When Star was finally vaccinated, she was at the age of three and a half months old. She was ready to enter our foster to adopt program we have where adopters don't have full custody of the puppy until the day they are sterilized. Eh? Eh? No, that's not a toy. Play with that? Yes. <laughs> Star grew into a wonderful dog during her foster time, and eventually, when the day came that she was ready to be sterilized, we finalized her adoption. Unfortunately, COVID hit and everyone in Bali was struggling, so her owners made the decision to board her. During this time, they reached out to us a couple of months later and asked us for help because they weren't working and couldn't afford to cover her boarding costs any further. When a dog is adopted from us, we make sure all adopters know we are always there for them and our dogs no matter what. We covered Star's boarding costs for the months, and eventually we had a heart-to-heart -heart with them about what they wanted to do, because COVID had finished. We encouraged them to find a friend who could take Star in and house checked everything to make sure she was going to a good home. Eventually, they returned to Bali and collected Star to join them again, and she's been with them ever since. We love adoption stories like this because it gives us hope we are not battling a never-ending fight for the rights of dogs in Bali.